Much like a black body in thermodynamics, a black hole is a region of space that pulls everything in, but prevents anything from escaping, even light. The reason it's called a black hole is because it sucks up all the light that hits its border and reflects nothing. Formed when an amply compact mass deforms space and time, a black hole has a defined surface known as the event horizon, which marks the point of no return. Little is known about black holes, but several scientists in history have developed their own theories about their properties and structures. I'm Mike with List 25, and here's a list of 25 crazy facts about black holes. Twenty-five. Just as a clock runs a bit slower closer to sea level than up on a space station, clocks run really slow near black holes. It all has to do with gravity. Twenty-four. While not all scientists agree, there are several who believe that they can be infinitely big. Twenty-three. Our galaxy is covered in black holes. But the one most likely to destroy our measly planet is still well beyond our solar system's borders. 22. The event horizon, as it's called in physics, is the border of the black hole. It's the point of no return. Before that point, you can still escape. After that point, not a chance. 21. There's a massive black hole at the center of the Milky Way galaxy. It's 30,000 light years away and is over 30 million times as massive as our sun. 20. While common knowledge states that nothing can escape a black hole, at least one thing does. Radiation. According to some scientists, as the black holes emit radiation, they lose mass. This process has the potential to eventually kill the black hole. 19. Black holes are not infinitely small. At some point, the collapsing core of a black hole becomes even smaller than an atom or an electron. It eventually reaches its Planck length, a quantum size limit that makes it barely measurable. 18. In most textbooks, you'll probably see black holes that look like funnels. This is because they're being illustrated from the perspective of gravity wells. In reality, they're more like spheres. 17. When the core of a star collapses, the star rotates faster and becomes smaller. When it reaches the point where it doesn't have enough mass to become a black hole, it gets squeezed together to form a neutron star and continues to spin rapidly. The same applies to black holes. Even when the black hole shrinks down to Planck length, it continues to spin rapidly. 16. Black holes have the capacity to distort space itself. And as they continue to spin, that distortion gets just as distorted. It's an infinite regression of distortions. 15. Although it seems obvious that a black hole is incompatible with life, most people think they would just get crushed. This isn't necessarily the case. Whatever part of your body reached the event horizon first would experience significantly more gravity, stretching your body until you die. 14. Although they're known for their blackness, as I said earlier, they actually do emit electromagnetic radiation. 13. Of course, in most circumstances, they probably would be destructive. There have been numerous theories, studies, and suggestions put forth that black holes can actually be harnessed for things like power and space travel. 12. Although I just talked about how small they are, black holes expand as they collide with other black holes allowing their size to increase with every collision. 11. Modern astronomers have shown that black holes actually come in different variations. There are spinning black holes, electrical black holes, and spinning electrical black holes. The type of black hole depends on the amount of energy it puts out when it distorts space. 10. It wasn't Albert Einstein that discovered black holes. Einstein revived the theory of black holes in 1916. Long before that, in 1783, a scientist named John Mitchell actually developed the theory after he wondered whether a gravitational force could be so strong that even light particles couldn't escape it. 9. To have enough gravity to pull even light into itself, a black hole has to contain an incredible amount of mass in an extremely small space. This means that black holes must have a mass of about 10 to 30 billion times the mass of the sun. 8. 
Although the vacuum of space doesn't really allow for sound waves, if you listened with special instruments, you would hear a static-like sound. When a black hole pulls something in, its event horizon supercharges the speed of particles close to the speed of light, which produces the sound. 7. Nothing can escape the pull of a black hole. Okay, that sounds obvious by this point, but I'd like to introduce the caveat unless it can move faster than the speed of light. 6. Researchers say that black holes create elements as they break down matter into subatomic particles. These particles have the ability to create elements heavier than helium, such as iron and carbon, as well as many others that are essential to the formation of life. 5. Black holes are best known for sucking up everything that gets near their event horizons. Once a mass gets into a black hole, it gets squashed so hard that its individual components become compressed and eventually break down into subatomic particles. Some scientists theorize that the matter is then ejected in a phenomenon known as a white hole. 4. Technically speaking, stars aren't the only things that can become black holes. If your car keys were shrunk down to an infinitesimally small point and still retained all of their mass, their density would reach astronomical levels which would make the force of their gravity ridiculously strong. 3. According to theories, matter within a black hole is crushed to infinite density, and space and time cease to exist. When this happens, the laws of physics break down, because it's not really humanly possible to conceive of anything with zero volume and infinite density. 2. As I said earlier, contrary to the popular belief that there is a tunnel in the middle of every black hole, all that exists at the center of a black hole is a massive amount of matter compressed infinitely. 1. According to some scientists, the number of stars in the universe is limited by the number of black holes. This is due to the way they affect gas clouds and element formation within the parts of the universe known to produce new stars. Enjoying our lists? Be sure to click that subscribe button on the bottom right and the notification bell so you don't miss out on new ones every Monday through Friday. Share them with friends and help us consistently conciliate curiosity. And if you want even more lists, check out these videos here or just head to our website at list25.com.